Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. Where we last left off was that, uh, yeah, we basically traveled to... Oh gosh, uh, before we... Before the... The episode before the last episode, the previous episode, uh, we basically continued the La... La Cage... La Cage, uh, Afwa. Uh, that's the main quest, as I'm trying to get to it. Um, we, we started this quest, um, we talked to Regis, which is the vampire friend we know about since Witcher 2, I think, Witcher 2 or Witcher 1, whichever, uh, the game he was introduced in, um, and then we were talking to him, um, talk to him, in, talking to him about how to find, uh, the vault, the vault, I can't remember the guy's name, the, the, dead laugh, there we go, <laughs> very, very different name. Uh, but yes, uh, we helped him figure out what we need to do to figure out where Detlaf would be at. Um, we pretty much continued that, and then we follow along this road to find another side quest. We did that instead in the last episode, and then we just did a whole slew of other smaller things. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that, I, I guess. Um, but we found another Venter's contract. Another Venter's contract will cause us to do that first, since it's kind of here already. And then we'll move our way towards... Uh, this little house right here, which is where the uh, the thing, the white, the spotted white that we're looking for, which is part of the main quest at the moment. But yeah, pretty much we're just focusing more on the main stuff, I would say, and still doing some of the smaller things at the same time. That's a lot of stuff in there. I'll take. Uh, but otherwise... Dude, just use the toilet. Go grab a toilet already, damn it. But yeah, otherwise we're just doing this along the way anyways. What the heck? Is it gargoyle? Ow! I didn't even get to, like, prepare. I didn't even get prepared at all. Wait. There we go. I was like, the heck? Come on. I don't think it'll bleed though. Oh, okay, that was that was uh pretty pretty quick. <laughs> but yeah, he didn't bleed at all, so I was like wondering if he would bleed or not. At least he left the chest there. I'll take that. All right, cool. Um, I don't think that gave me any increased charges or anything. Yeah. I'm still wondering when I will actually get to use the sword and increase this damage, but I highly doubt I will ever have it through this game. Um, probably because I'm not ready for it or I'm not really seeing it being capable of growing better. Wait, there's more than just that? Alright, let me see the uh, trousers here. Ah, trousers. Eh, I'll probably leave it in the the armoring area. Oh, geez, another one? How come there's another one? There we go. Why is it all... Why is it gar or gargoyles? Jesus. I wasn't expecting gargoyles. I was expecting sort of like something else entirely for some reason. Alright, um, is there anything else around here that I can grab a hold of? Oh, jeez. What is that? Uh, oh, that's, a uh, Some metals on the walls, I guess. Silver. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that's it for this one little spot. I need to dive under, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. No, we didn't need to dive under. Okay. I thought we had to because of how... How low the water was... Uh, yeah, how low the water was at that point. Use the ladder. Getting up. Alrighty. That was a pretty... Jesus. There was... That water was so freaking shallow, it just didn't seem like drink. it was... Give me a drink. Screw off! You blocked my way. Oh, not this guy. The wine merchant. It, all clear now. Did you manage it? Yeah, all taken care of. Ha! And four core witches lay about some freeloaders. Bollocks! 
storehouse will be ready in two days at most. And here on in, you've cut rate prices on all my goods. Uh, sure, I guess. What are you peddling? What you got on offer? Wouldn't mind a glance. Ah, oh, it just cuts it off there. Um, yeah, it doesn't have anything sold goods. I don't think I can sell anything to him that's... Yeah, it's just me holding on to alcohol, just not really gonna sell it to him. Actually, can I sell... Can I actually sell jewelry to him? It looks like I can. <sighs> sure, I guess. Alright, cool. That's pretty much it. I don't think I want to sell too much of it. Oh wait, does it not end there, I guess? Not from around here, are you? Nay, from Povis we are. Wandered south for the climber for the first war. Chills up north were giving me wifey lumbago. <laughs> okay. So long. Really? I have to wait for it to... to... Oh my god. I was waiting for the thing to, like, do the... Uh, dum, or something like that. Unless there's a bigger... Unless there's a huge quest outside of it, then maybe not, I guess. But I, I, I feel like it's, it has... It probably passed over and I just didn't see it or something. Kind of weird, honestly. Alright, well, let's continue with the quest anyways. The main quest, that is. Alright, so, yeah, I just took a little detour. Not wanting to do some more side quests, but did it anyways, because why not? Um... I mean, at the same time, I wanted to deal with all the side quests that I could, so I can just... So I could just, like, move forward without having to worry about, like, not finishing a certain thing or something. Um, I don't know how long this main quest is. I think I took a quick glance, but I'm not saying that I know for certain if it is. What the heck? Ooh, jeez. Oh, jeez, there's another one right there. Oh, there we go. Ow! I, I, I don't know why I jumped there. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that was it. I thought, there, I thought there would be more, but... Sadly not. Um, let's see... Alchemy. I see, I can turn them into greens, which I don't really want. Damn, okay, whatever. Alright, cool. Let's get it moving. We are 300 meters away from the main quest, which is fine, I guess. Oh dear, there's a lot of monsters out here for some reason. Let me save over here. Yeah, there's a lot of monsters heading out here. There's some stuff on the back of me, sort of. Oh jeez, there's a fighter! <laughs> Oh, Jesus. That's a huge boy right there. Oh, God. That was scary sounding, too. Oh, jeez. Oh, go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Screw off. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Oh, jeez. Oh, nope. Oh, it's son of a gun. Ugh. Oh, gee. Ah, oh, god dang it. I hate this bastard. Come on. There we go. Got him. Oh, that is some freaking gnarly kill, gnarly freaking monster right there. Oh man, that was it creeped the hell out of me when I just like turned around. I realized it was a spider, a giant ass spider. I was like, what the fudge? <laughs> it creeped the heck out of me. I was just like, I didn't really prepare myself for that, but I understood. I understood what's up. Oh, jeez, jeez, no. Oh, okay. There we go. 
There we go. That's one. There was another one I saw. Come here. Oh, he got stuck on the tree, I guess. Alrighty. Cool. Sadly, the charges are not going to keep going, apparently. So far, the charges haven't been uh, getting enough hits to upgrade it or upgrade the sword, yeah. It's really tough to get the upgrading for the 10 hits, I guess, for the sword, but I'll get used to it, hopefully. Or try to get, get it to where I can get it upgraded. Yeah, there's a lot of sounds out here. It's like some dogs and such. What the heck is that? Oh dear. Why is there so much monsters out here? Jesus. What now, you piece of filth? Oh god, where's the foglets? I think these are foglets. Yeah, they are foglets. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Okay, there's another one out here, I think. Is there? Okay, cool. There's none, none more. Jesus, dude. It's like... There's no end to this at all, I feel like. <clears throat> there's no end to the monsters coming out of nowhere in the forests. Alright, cool. Yeah, there's like howling and I some... Never a good omen. No. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there just howling away. Okay, I can't I can't sheathe my sword yet. So I'm gonna have to like So if I sheathe my sword If I put away my sword, it seems like the charges restart basically by that point. Oh jeez, there's more monsters down here. Let me actually take the just as Raven wasn't lying. Oh, ow. Oh god. Oh, I accidentally ate too much more. I don't know if I got the charges though. It seems like I didn't, but we'll see. Did it permanently up upgrade it or not? Oh, I did get two. Okay. Um. Wait, I'm trying to... No, I'm trying to guess what the heck I just did. So killing a foe with a fully loaded sword will expend its charge to permanently increase the weapon's damage. The damage is increased by 2 uh, to a maximum of 10, increasing along with your level, your character's level. Okay. I guess. I'm still not familiar with... I'm still not certain about what the hell the instruction is for the sword to be more powerful, but I'm trying. I guess it would be, it is very, very much like doing very good right now so far. Um, or it's very much like on a good standing point of where I need to be for the, for the thing to be done. Actually, let me check alchemy before we move forward here. Okay, there's nothing more. Okay. Maybe I should meditate for one hour so I can just be, like, prepared a little bit. There we go. Meditate a little bit just to be prepared here. Strange. Get a sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm. A message. Trying to tell me something. Uh-huh. I thought that they said spoons as in, like, they were all on the floor, but they're just all wind chimes, basically. Which is interesting to see. Wait, I hear something else. Why do I feel like I hear something else entirely over here? Like a monster just like walking around. shall sit and dine with you at your table no spoon you have shall say to you never again shall you wish to oh. spy your reflection in the mirror sounds like a curse all right
Long. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. Uh, in the meantime, let me... There we go. I was like, can I not save, really? It's like, come on. I don't know why I keep... I guess I press B too many times. Die. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. Is it wood, like, creaking? Or, like, somebody's just White's walking, obsessed. really? White's obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. Some more spoons here, I guess. Spoons incredible. The craftsmanship. Must have graced a rich man's table. Hmm. Stained diary. Pause and read. Interesting. Oh, that, but there we go. So he went to an herbalist for help, but it seems like the herbalist didn't really give him the stuff he really needed. Oh dear, he killed the herbalist. Never mind. <laughs> oh, she she ran away as well. Damn, the herbalist ran away just in time for him to. He was about to kill her, but he didn't end up getting killed. He ended up not being able to kill her. Or him. I don't know what what is what yet at this moment. Ah, uh, why would you write? Girl realized she was changing into a monster. Uh, it in her diary. So it, so it was a, uh, a woman who's who was going insane, not a man. Sorry, I was just... no spoon you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Interesting. This looks like a ground for fighting here. I don't know. Looks pretty bad. Looks like I need to go down there, but I'm gonna check this area out still. Check this whole location out first. Another spoon right there. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. The spoons are making me think like Goldilocks with all the bears. Is like, the spoon is too small, the spoon is too big, the spoon is just right kind of idea. <laughs> Doubt they came here willingly. It just this makes have anything think. to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. It'd make sense. Mm hmm. Broken neck, indentation in the skull's lateral surface, smacked in the head with something heavy. No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. I mean, literally, the body's right into the chair. Like, it cannot be easy. Right arm bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Mmm, interesting. Man, that's a lot of freaking, uh, that's a lot of freaking spoons in one spot. A lot of good places to kind of dismantle all that. Or a lot of materials to dismantle for that. Uh, Dear Master Lavisier. Oh, it seems like somebody else was taking care of her. And then the person hired someone to hunt down. Let me. Who was the person they. Yeah, some kind of master was being directed to, to hunt down the girl. But the herbalist was the. Uh, one of the first few people they Woman's went to. name scratched into this wooden spoon. Romantic. <laughs> I felt I feel scar sarcasms there. All the sarcasm is there. Um, but it's just like I don't know. It just feels kind of weird to. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. None shall sit and dine with you at your oh, table. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I already read that. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Oh. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. 
What's the note? This, this certifies the item up for auction, the auction, or the antique spoon key forged at the Christofferson and Sons workshop in 12, 1210 belongs to Smogoli uh, Circus, owned, owner of the Pheasantry. Pheasantry, I guess? Interesting that that opens up a quest right there, right then and then. Is it a treasure? Yeah, it's a treasure hunt. Spontaneous, spontaneous profits, which I'll probably do if, if, if anything. It looks pretty decent or pretty simple. Right, let me explore this one little room because I didn't actually go into this room yet. I want to make sure I explore everything to kind of give myself a full view of why things are turned out this way. Mirror. As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journal's author, maybe? Yeah, I want to explore everything and probably loot off of the stuff that I probably haven't loot off of either. Um, I think that's mostly it for up here. So let's go downstairs here. Yeah, otherwise I'd say that this whole place is very cool. Like, they, they the developers really did do well in... Trying to make this place interestingly different from a lot of places I've been through in the game. It's so unique to just throw like an ordinary object as like a key item to actually does seem like a white's lair. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. Mm-hmm. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Alright. But yeah, overall it's really interesting how they've made an ordinary object as like a key object to somebody's obsession or some monster's obsession. Is that a doorway? Holy heck. I was looking for. Why it's not particularly tidy. What is that? Oh. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Um, let me go over to the... Oh, wait, there's another, another thing. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. Alright. Is there another thing in here? I'm kind of curious about this area here. White's obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. I mean, that looks like a ladle instead of an actual spoon right now. Oh, dear. I don't know what's good and what's bad right now. That's my problem is, like, if I go to some place, I don't know if it will trigger in a fight, and then I will probably have an option to speak to the white to kind of understand what's happening. I don't get it. Table if, set. Which one's what? White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse, and it's been trying desperately to lift it. Okay. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Okay, seems like some other stuff. Oven's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. Uh, in the meantime, let me go and ch actually check whatever's down here first. Because I, I, I didn't know if this one will lead to a fight, or if it will lead to an actual, like, problem. Yeah, this looks like a problem. I'm not gonna go in there yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till the gland shows up, and then I'll head over there if I have to later on. Hide in a place where, with a good view to the cauldron. Okay. In here? Yeah, there we go. That looks like a, a doorway to another place rather than a, a closet. This is a very interesting predicament. <laughs> I didn't expect Geralt to be hiding inside a closet. Oh. Ew. Oh. 
Holy crap, the vigorous, <laughs> the vigorous stirring right there. Try to lift the curse. I want to actually try to lift the curse because she didn't deserve it. Something forced it on her, I guess, I would say. Wait, what's going on? I don't get the how the camera's moving the way it's moving. Ew. Oh, what the hell's going on? Is this a cinematic piece or something? I'm not going to hurt you. Want to help? I've seen the words of the curse on the walls. Think I know how to lift it. Calm, calm down. And how does he plan on lifting it? You tried to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. Oh wait, that's how you lift the curse? By actually getting her to sit on the table with her? That's interesting. But I wonder if... If she's actually gonna stay younger, or like... Just need a bit does she age when, she, when she's a monster? I wonder. And now we'll tend to you. <laughs> I like how she sits calmly. Let's eat using spoon, not using spoon. Uh... Need to get this right. Words of the curse were... None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Okay, so de technically... We don't eat with a spoon. No spoon, no spoon, no spoon. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. Drop it. Just calm down. You can do it. I really want to lift her curse for sure. Ew, what? Why the hell? Likeness. Oh? Whoa, what's going on? Wait, what? What happened, Geralt? Why are you turning into a weird looking thing? Oh, do we have to follow her? Holy hell. Geralt looks so banged up. What the heck? Follow the stench. It worked. Just not quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Yeah, we need to... to find given its stench. I mean, considering where it went, it's pretty much up here anyways, so... My assumption is that she might be better, hopefully, but I don't think so. A part of me also wonder if her age went through anything when, when she is a monster. Like, when, you, when somebody's a monster, I don't know if they still grow, like, age-wise. There's another thing over here, I see. I'll probably look into that later. Where is it? Okay, let me follow the, through this at least. Oh, god dang it. Come here. Stay dead, please. Jesus, that was annoying. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting getting hit by the monster, considering that I was looking for her. Oh, come on, another one? Bastard. Come here. <laughs> I like how he's just stuck on the wall there. Alright, cool. Alright, wait, let's keep following this quickly. I think there she is. I believe that's where she at. Yep, yep. Oh, she's turning back. Yeah, she is. Not gonna hurt you. Oh, she's a lot older now. Yeah. Eat. I, I must eat. Wow.
Yeah, I think the curse has been lifted, sort of. I'll take you someplace safe. Hopefully I'm not actually moving Geralt. Like, just, just teleport us, please. Game, teleport us, please. I don't want to be considered in, like, a problem. I think if I was to if I was to go down into that cave with the big area, I think that would have forced us to fight the white, which is not gonna save her or help her, but that's interesting. I think that there would be it would be in an interesting predicament in terms of how things would have turned out if I was to So I took her by the hand and let her hear. Oh Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Interesting. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might oh. actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found what? her. <laughs> Whatever brought this about? Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Ah. My didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Uh, I mean, it... It wasn't too difficult. But it wasn't too easy either. Geralt did take a hit from the curse though a little bit because he uh, his because I believe he can't get cursed. Like Ger Geralt can't personally get cur re recursed into himself. But then again, who knows? Or can't get like hit by the heavy, heavy curse or easy going curse. I guess I would say. Curses are tricky. <clears throat> they play on irony. Always got to figure out what the catch is. Yeah. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons, and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? The oh. simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn... Sorry find willing human company for a feast I imagine so but most importantly it is now over please don't worry she will be in good hands here. hopefully I do want her to kind of nurse herself into good health at least thanks gotta get back to my business now see you soon okay at least it tells at least it tells us the story of what happened to her at the very least but I'm wondering if what happens if we nurse her back to health? Would she just end up working here? I'm guessing, like as uh, one of our own people, I guess. Kind of curious about that. All right, cool. I wanted to at least meditate till till daytime. All right, we're gonna have to fast travel to wherever Regis is. Create a mutagen blue. Fantastic. All right. Um. Oh yeah, we we should put some of these trousers and boots onto the the stands here. Might as well, right? All right. Which one actually didn't get completed? I don't have a gauntlet, but I do have boots, I believe. Take them all. Uh, let's do this. Golden trousers, boots, and then these guys will be on this side for now. Though I could have probably repaired them, it's like, whatever, I guess. For me, I'm just using them as decorations, as I would. Is she alright? Or is she just still eating, I'm guessing? Man, she's still eating and drinking, damn. But yeah, she aged poorly, sadly, from the monster- from the curse of the monster. But then again, I, I'm glad she's still alright, at least. 
kind of sad to see that she got taken down by this curse that she stupidly believed was not gonna hurt her, but it did. I mean, that's gonna be how it is, pretty much. I mean, that's... That's usually what happens if you're just doing things stupidly and not, like, believing in the curse of any sorts. Um, when is this tradition? Do the- follow the stupid tradition, you know? Unless she was, like, probably not aware of it. Um, but yeah, sorry about the cutscene pausing at that moment. It was pretty much, like, uh, I was basically getting hit by JRG 2.0, just, like, flashing in front of the screen, and I was just like, I can't see the cutscene. I had to look at the other side of my screen to just literally see what the hell is- what they're saying or what they're doing in action. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode or in a video minds and hope you guys have a great amazing day. We're gonna I want to watching this. Before I go, I do mention I gotta mention uh CDPR doing another Night City Live Wire episode three uh September eighteen, I think it was. Yeah, September eighteen, eight days from eight days from when I recorded yes or when with yesterday for, for what I saw, like during the Ubisoft Forward thing. Um, I was thinking about it, I was like, oh wow, it's a week away from whatever this event was. Uh, yeah, so UB uh, CDPR is doing the, another Nightwire uh, for C Cyberpunk, which is going to be great. I'm going to look forward to that. And I'll talk about that probably in the, like, probably a future episode, um, because I'm super excited for Cyberpunk. Uh, it's been, what, like, literally as of, as of yesterday, April, no, September 10th uh, was yesterday, so... As of that day, I think there's like about two more months left till the release of Cyberpunk 2077. Looking forward to playing it. Don't know for certain if I'm going to be recording it yet because I've actually noticed that there's something uh, coming up, which I will talk about more about later on in the future, but I'm not sure yet. Um, if it doesn't happen, then I'll just probably forget about it and just ignore this message of futuristic talks but at the very least i would say that uh yeah something's coming up so maybe i might not be able to catch cyberpunk for the channel but we'll probably see about that we'll have to uh, i'll probably try to figure out how things are gonna come together and how things are gonna go not entirely certain but hopefully we will get things together and uh play that game i'm planning on doing three playthroughs of cyberpunk but i'm not entirely certain if that's gonna happen because if i do three three times the experience that's just like me getting tired of like i don't know like i i mean i want to play it where i'm just like i'm not doing the same decision as my first playthrough or my second playthrough because the reason why i say three playthroughs is because there's three different classes or three different uh backgrounds uh starting backgrounds but um yeah i'll talk more about it in the next episode anyways other than that thank you guys for watching and joining me for the witcher 3 for now i'm getting closer to the end of the game hopefully um, it's, it's coming together very slowly, but it's, it's coming together nonetheless. Uh, otherwise I'm gonna pretty much try my best to finish up as much of this game as is possible, and hopefully we'll get to the ending of Blood and Wine's DLC, so we can move on to do bigger and other games, uh, that is, bigger and other games, yeah, that's the best, the best way, because, I don't know, there are better games too, as, which, uh, for Witcher 3, but it's like, I think they're all great games, it's just, I just end up saying better, because, that's usually how the wording comes off as. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's it for me in this episode. So, Roz, out.